welcome all let us today let us study about prehistoric period introduction the earliest known evidence of man in our country was in bori in maharashtra and dates back to 1.4 million years ago prehistory is the period that has records of human activities civilization using of stone tools this period does not witness any writing from the civilians therefore this period is the prehistoric period in ancient history prehistory also refers to the hunter gather lifestyle of people in that era or period prehistory is the fact of origin of human activities and civilization thousands of years ago in general prehistory is divided into three ages hence the name is uh, was given a38 system the three ages are stone age bronze age iron age these three ages give pieces of evidence of human activity in ancient times these ages are evolutionary ages in human kind stone age the stone age is the prehistoric period that is the period before the development of the script therefore the main source of information for this period is the archaeological excavations robert bruce foot is the archaeologist who discovered the first paleolithic tool in india the pallavaram hand axe on the basis of geological age the type and technology of stone tools the subsistence base and subsistence base the stone age is classified primarily into three types paleolithic mesolithic neolithic ages first one the paleolithic age the term paleolithic is derived from the greek word paleo which means old and lithic meaning stone therefore the term paleolithic age refers to the old stone age the old stone age or paleolithic culture of india developed in the pleistocene period or the ice age which is a geological period of the age when the earth was covered with ice and weather was so cold and that human or plant life could not survive but in the tropical region where ice melted the earliest species of men could exist main characteristics of paleolithic ages first one the indian people are believed to have belonged to the negrito race and lived in the open air river valleys caves and rock shelters they were food gatherers ate wild fruits and vegetables and lived on hunting they there were there was no knowledge of houses pottery agriculture it was only in later stages they discovered fire in the upper paleolithic age there is evidence of art in the form of paintings humans are uh, unpolished rough humans used unpolished rough stones like hand axe choppers blades burins and scrapers the old stone age or paleolithic age in india is divided into three phases according to the nature of stone tools used by the people and also according to the nature of change in climate first one lower paleolithic age it is up to 1 lakh bc it covers the greater part of the ice age hunters and food, gather- food gatherers tools used were hand axes choppers and cleavers tools were rough and heavy on the uh, one of the earliest low, lower paleolithic sites is bori in maharashtra limestone was also used to make tools major sites of lower paleolithic age are son valley in present pakistan sites in the thar desert kashmir mewar plains saurashtra gujarat central india deccan plateau chota nagpur plateau north of the kaveri river belan valley in up there are in habitation sites including caves and rock shelters an important place in bhimbetka in madhya pradesh second one middle paleolithic age from 1 lakh bc to 40000 bc tools were used flay were flay tools used were 
flakes, blades, pointers, scrapers and borers. The tools were smaller, lighter and thinner. There was a decrease in the use of hand axe with respect to other tools. Important Middle Paleolithic site sites are Balan Valley in UP, Luni Valley in Rajasthan, Son and Narmada River, Bimbedka, Tungabhadra River Valley, Potwar Plateau that is between Indus and Jhelum, Shangho Cave near Peshwar, Pakistan. Third one, Upper Paleolithic Age from 40,000 BC to 10,000 BC. The Upper Paleolithic Age coincide with the last phase of the Ice Age when the climate became comparatively warmer and less humid. The emergence of Homo sapiens period is the period is marked by innovation in tools and technology. A lot of bone tools including needles, harpoons, parallel side dead blades, fishing tools and burin tools. Burin tools. One of the major sites were Bimbedka in south of Bhopal where ant hacks and cleavers, blades, scrapers and few burins have been found. Major sites of Upper Paleolithic Age are Belan, Son, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Maharashtra, Horissa and Eastern Ghats in Andhra Pradesh. Bone tools have been found only at the cave sites of Kurnul and Mutchatla, Chintamani Gavi in Andhra Pradesh. Second one, Mesolithic Age. The term Mesolithic is derived from two Greek words, Meso and Lithic. In Greek, Meso meaning middle and Lithic meaning stone. Hence, the Mesolithic stage of prehistory is also known as the Middle Stone Age. Both Mesolithic and Neolithic phases belong to the Holocene era. In this era, there was a raise in temperature. Climate became warmer with res uh, which resulted in melting of ice and also brought changes in flora and fauna. Characteristic feature of Mesolithic era. It intervened as a transitional phase between the Paleolithic age and the Neolithic or New Stone age. The Mesolithic people lived on hunting, fishing and food gathering. At the later stage, they also domesticated animals. The first three occupations continued the Paleolithic practice while the last was interrelated with the Neolithic culture. The characteristic tools of Mesolithic age are microliths. The miniature tool, stone tools usually made of crypto crystalline silica, chalcedony or cherit both or both of geometrical and non-geometrical shapes they were not only used as tools but were also used to make composite tools spearheads arrowheads and sickle after hafting them on wooden or bone handles these microliths enabled the mesolithic man to hunt anim smaller animals and birds the Mesolithic men started to wear clothes made of animal skin. The Mesolithic men started to wear, uh, oh, uh, wear clothes made of animal skin. The first human colonization of the Ganga plains happened during this period. People of this era believed, to, believed in life after death and hence they buried the dead with food items and other goods. The Mesolithic sites are found in good numbers in Rajasthan, southern Uttar Pradesh, central and eastern India and also south of the Krish river Krishna of them Bagor in Rajasthan is, where, is very well excavated. It had a distinctive microlith in industry and its inhabitants subs subsisted on hunting and pastor pastoralism the cultivation of plants around 7000 to 6000 bc is suggested in rajasthan from the study of the deposits of former salt lake sambar the people of the paleolithic and mesolithic ages practiced painting prehistoric art appears in several places but bimbhetka in madhya pradesh is a striking site situated in the vindhya ranges 45 kilometer 
south of Bhopal. It has more than 500 painted rock shelters distributed in an area of 10 square kilometer. Preaching birds in which live upon grains are absent in the earliest group of painting, which evidently belong to the hunting gathering economy. Important Mesolithic sites Bagor in Rajasthan is one of the biggest and the best documented Mesolithic site in India. Bagor is on river Go Kothari where microliths along with animal bones and shells have been excavated. Adham, Adhamghar in Madhya Pradesh provides the earliest evidence for the domestication of animals. There are about 150 Mesolithic rock art sites across India with a rich concentration in central India such as Bhimbetka Caves in Madhya Pradesh, Karwar, Jora, Katochia in Madhya Pradesh, Sundargar and Sambhalpur in Odisha, Ezutu Gua in Kerala. Microlith have also been found in some valley of river Tapi, Sabarmati, Narmada and Mahi. Uh, Lal Lang, Langnaj in Gujarat, Bihar Ranpur, Bihar Ranpur in West Bengal is also important Mesolithic site. Bones of wild animals that is rhinoceros and black bug have been excavated from Langnaj. Several human skeletons and large number of microliths have been recovered from these places. Though pottery is absent at most Mesolithic sites, it has been found in Langraj in Gujarat and in Kaimur region in Mirzapur, Uttar Pradesh. Third one, Neolithic age. In the world context, the new stone age began in 9000 BC. The term Neolithic is derived from the Greek word Neo, which meaning new, lithic means stone. Thus, the term Neolithic age refers to the new stone age. It is also termed as Neolithic revolution since it introduced a lot of important changes in man's social and economic life. The Neolithic age saw man turning into a food producer from food gatherer. The Neolithic phase in South India seemed to have covered the period from about 2000 BC to 1000 BC. The Neolithic shelters were the earliest farming communities. They broke the ground with stone, stone hoes and digging sticks with at the at the end of the ring stones weighing one to half a kilogram were fixed they produced ragi and horse gram the neolithic people of mehragra mehragar were more advanced they produced wheat cotton lived in mud brick houses characteristic feature of neolithic neolithic age tools and weapons the people used microlithic blades in addition to tools made of polished stones the use of clets were especially uh, especially important for ground and polished hand axe they are they are also used tools and weapons made of bones such as needles scrapers borers arrowheads etc the use of new polished tools made it easier for humans to cultivate, hunt and perform other activities in the better manner. Agriculture The people of the Neolithic age cultivated land and grew fruits and corn like ragi and horse gram. They also domesticated cattle, sheep, goats, pottery. With the advent of agriculture, people were required to store uh, their food grains as well as to cook, eat the product etc that's why it is said that pottery appeared in this phase on the large scale the pottery is uh, pottery of this period was classified under gray ware black burnished ware and matte impressed ware in the initial stages of the neolithic age handmade pottery was made but later on foot wheel uh, were used to make pots Housing and settled life. The people of the Neolithic age lived in rectangular or circular house which were made of mud and reeds. Neolithic men also knew how to make boats and could spin cotton, wool and weaving clothes. The people of Neolithic age led a more settled life and paved the way for the beginning of civilization. The Neolithic people did not live far away from the hilly areas. 
they inhabited mainly in the hilly river valley sheltered rock shelters and slope of the hills since they were entirely dependent on weapons and tool and tools made of stone the period between 9000 bc to 3000 bc saw remarkable progress of technology in western asia because the people developed the arts of cultivation weaving pot making house building domestication of animals etc but the neolithic age in the indian subcontinent began around the 6th millennium bc based on the types of axes used by neolithic shelters we notice three important areas of neolithic settlement first one the northwestern group of neolithic tools represent rectangular axes with curved edge curved cutting edge the north eastern group show polished stone axes with rectangular butt and has occasional shouldered hoofs the southern group is distinguished by axes with oval side pointed out pointed but important neolithic sites kholdiva and mahagara lying south of alhabad this site provides evidence of circular huts along with crude handmade pottery there is also evidence of rice which is the oldest evidence of rice but only in india but uh, anywhere in the world not not only in india but anywhere in the world mehragra baluchistan pakistan the earliest neolithic site where people lived in built houses built of sun dried bricks and cultivated crops like cotton and beet burza burza hom kashmir it means the place of birth it is situated 16 km northwest of srinagar the domestic dogs were buried along with their masters in their grave in their graves people lived in pits and used tools made of polished stones as well as bones guf gufral gufkral kashmir this neolithic site is famous for pit dwelling stone tools and graveyard in houses chiran in bihar the neolithic men used tools and weapons made of bones piklihal brahmagiri maski takala kota halur that is in karnataka the people were the people were cattle herders they domesticated sheep and goats ash ash mounds have been found belan valley which is located in the north northern spur of vindhyas and middle part of narmada valley the the three phases that is paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic ages are found in the sequence neolithic tools are also found in the garo hills in the meghalaya on the northern frontier of india neolithic clelts axes adzes chisel etc have also been found in the orissa and chota nagpur hill areas metal age the metal age marks the end of the stone age metal age is broadly categorized into two ages and they are as follows first word bronze age bronze itself is harder and more durable than other metals available at the time allowing bronze age civilization to gain the technological adva- advantage this age was the first witness in egypt uh, most commonly metal most commonly metals in this period were copper and bronze iron age in the 19th century the use of iron increased and hence rise of iron age this age is the last age of the three age system this age brought an end of to the bronze age weapons were also made of iron in this era let us study about the rock painting during prehistoric period it was difficult to understand how prehistoric people lived until scholars began excavation in the prehistoric sites piecing together of the information deduced from old tools habitats bones of both animals and humans human beings and drawings on the cave 
के वर्ल्ड स्कॉलर्स हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड फेयरली एक्यूरेट नॉलेज अबाउट वॉट हैपन एंड आउ पीपल लिव इन प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम पेंटिंग एंड ड्रॉइंग वेर द ओल्डेस्ट आर्ट फॉर्म्स प्रैक्टिस बाई ह्यूमन बींग्स टू एक्सप्रेस दैम सेल्स यूजिंग द के वर्ल्स एज देयर कैनवस The drawings and paintings can be categorized into several historical periods. Period one, Upper Paleolithic; period two, Mesolithic; period three, Chalcolithic. After period three, there are four successive periods. But we will confine ourselves here only for the first three phases. Prehistoric art era art denotes the art mainly rock painting. During Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Chalcolithic age, Paleolithic Art Age, the prehistoric period in the early development of the human beings is commonly known as the Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. The Paleolithic period can be divided into three phases: Lower Paleolithic, that is from 2.5 million years to 1 lakh years ago; Middle Paleolithic, 3 lakhs to 30,000 years ago. Upper Paleolithic, forty thousand to ten thousand years ago, we did not get any evidence of painting from the lower and middle Paleolithic age yet. In the Upper Paleolithic period, we see the proliferation of artistic activities. Subjects of early workers confined to simple human figures, human activities, geometric designs, and symbol. The first discovery of rock painting in the world was made in India uh, during nineteen eighteen sixty seven to sixty eight by an archaeologist Archibald Carle Carleley, twelve years before the discovery of Altimir in. Spain, that is site of old rock painting in the world. In India, rem remnants of rock painting have been found on the walls of caves situated in several districts of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Bihar, and Uttarakhand. Some of the examples of site sites early rock painting are Lakhu Dia Diyar in Uttarakhand. Kupgalu in Telangana, Pikli Hall and Tekkala Kota in Karnataka, Bhim Betka and Jogi Mara in Madhya Pradesh. Paintings found here can be divided into three categories: man, animal, and geometric symbols. Some of the characteristics of these early painting are: humans are represented in a stick-like form, a long-snouted animal, a fox, a multi-legged lizard. our main animal motifs in the early paintings wave lights rectangular field uh, geometric designs and and a group of dots also can be seen superimposition of paintings earliest in black then red and later white in the late historic uh, early historic and neolithic period the subject of painting developed and figures like bulls elephant sambar gazelle sheep horses styled human beings tridents and rarely vegetal motifs began to see the richest painting are reported from vindhya ranges of madhya pradesh and their kaimurian extension into up these hills are fully paleolithic and mesolithic remains there are two major sites of uh, excellent prehistoric paintings in india bhim betka caves foothills of with uh, vindhya and madhya pradesh jogi mara caves amarnath madhya pradesh let us study about bhim betka caves continuous occupation of the caves from 1 lakh bc to 1000 ad thus it is considered as a evidence of long cultural continuity it was discovered in 1957 58 consisting of nearly 400 painted shelter rocks in five clusters one of the oldest painting in india and the world that is upper paleolithic the feature of the painting of three different phases are as follows even though bimbetka contains many painting of a period later different forms were different from what is explained below as we are dealing with the prehistoric period only we are concluding by these three 
upper paleolithic period the painting are li linear representation in green dark red of huge animal figures such as bison tiger elephant rhinos and boars besides stick like human figures mostly they are filled with geometric patterns green painting are of dancers and red ones of hunters mesolithic period art the largest number of paintings belong to this period theme themes multiply by, but the painting are small in size hunting scenes predominate hunters in group armed with barbed spears pointed sticks arrows and bows trap and snare used to catch animal can be seen in some painting mesolithic people loved to point animals in some pictures animals are chasing men in others they are being chased by the hunter men animal painted in the naturalistic style and humans were depicted in a stylish manner women were painted both in nude and clothed young and old equally find place in painting community dances uh, provide a common theme short of family life can be seen in some painting that is women women and children chalcolithic period art that is copper age art the painting of this period reveal the association contact and mutual exchange of requirement of the cave dwellers in this area with settled agricultural communities of the malwa plateau pottery and metal tools can be seen in painting similarities with rock paintings common motifs designer pattern like cross hatch square lattice etc the difference with rock paintings that is vividness and vitality of older period disappear from this painting some of the general features of prehistoric painting that is based on the study of bimbetka painting used colors including various shades of white yellow orange red ochre purple brown green and black but white and red were their favorite the paints used by these people were made by grinding various colored rocks they got red from hematite that is geru in india green prepared from the green colored rock called chalcedony white was probably from limestone some sticky substance such as animal fat or gum or resin from trees may be used while mixing rock powder with water brushes were made of plant fiber it is believed that these colors remained thousands of years because of the chemical reaction of the oxide present on the surface of the rocks paintings were found both from occupied and unoccupied caves it means that these paintings were sometimes used also as some sort of signals warnings etc many rock art sites of the paint new painting are pa painted on top of an older painting in bimbetka we can see nearly 20 layers of painting one on top of another it shows a gradual development of human being from period to period the symbolism is is inspiration from nature along with slight spirituality expression of ideas through new very few drawings representation of men by the stick line drawing use of many geometrical patterns scenes where mainly hunting and economic and social life of people the figure of flora fauna human mythical creatures carts chariots etc can be seen more important for red more importance for red and white colors